Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, two days after the garage sale. The great garage sale of 2024. Do you know there's almost 8 billion people in the world? There's my favorite one. Right there, out of all of them. Donna, say hi. Hi. Yes, what are you doing today? Look at, I'm cleaning out the garage. Heck yeah, have you ever seen our garage so empty? You probably haven't if you follow our channel. But Donna's got her music player and we don't want no copyright strikes. Better turn that down. I'm a mess. She's, Good look. She's a mess because she's out here working. <laughs> this is what we do. It's 9.30 in the morning. No. What time is it? It's 10.30. That clock hasn't moved yet. Uh, oh, yeah. But it's 10.30 and I heard the door open and I heard music coming out loud. And I thought, oh, Donna's after it out there. So I thought, I better yeah. come see. So we pulled all the carpets up. We have all this covered in these carpet squares. So we vacuumed all that, pulled all that up, cleaned everything up. Gonna relay everything down. And then all those totes you see are empty. All those totes are empty. We're gonna we sell have... these right here. Yeah. Those totes we're gonna sell and those we're gonna keep because I have lids for them and we're gonna use them for the next time. Yeah. And then we have like down here, I see kids to sort and stuff. So there's some of the kids of stuff. And then down here there's stuff that uh, eBay or dollar auction. Um, so yeah, basically, it she's, doesn't look it's a fresh easy. start. Let's it doesn't. Put it back together and then show them. Okay, yeah, it, yeah, we'll definitely it'll look better after we're done. But I just wanted to get out here with the camera. We're gonna show you some what solds. We have, I think, sixteen what solds. We got some good sales yeah. last time. We filmed it upstairs where our new bookshelf is, and I deleted Office. the footage. <laughs> so we're gonna try again, and I'm gonna try not to delete the footage this time. Yeah. But first, we're gonna finish getting this garage organized so you all can be like ooh ah let's go huh. all right it is quarter to 12 we've been out here for a while moving things around trying different things and we think we're done by the way if this is your first time clicking on this video um check out the last video about the garage sale because that's kind of <laughs> what this all came yes. from uh, we have a recap of a garage sale we just had two days ago. And that's why I'm a mess, because I'm still working hard from that. <laughs> yeah, it was a tiring weekend, but we got the garage kind of organized and looking the way that we would like it. So, so we can start working on eBay stuff and listing yeah. a few dollar auction things, but mostly eBay stuff. Yeah, we're going to try to transition more to eBay, less to dollar auction, but then again, dollar auction works so well. Well, so. and that's what we do when we have clean outs and things like that, yeah. so yep uh so let's just take a look here so look at that it's all kind of we brought this table to kind of make it Match. symmetrical it matches on both sides that tv over here that one's going to go in the dollar auction um but look it's all clean and organized and nice and neat and over here we have space this is stuff she's gonna these are empty or she's gonna stack things in these like we said are gonna be for sale um yeah and, and then the tabletops will be our workspace and the things underneath the tables are to be sold on ebay and the boxes on top there we've got some recyclables that we need to take in some copper and things like that yep. to take in but otherwise what's underneath is all that we have left work before we start in on the storage units yeah so we should be set to work hard, list stuff, and uh, be yeah. A, be more efficient is the goal. Uh, and the dining room is still set up with books, eight and a half boxes of books and DVDs for me to sell. Hopefully I can get back into that maybe tonight. But first, let's go see what we've got sold. 16 or 18 things and I still need to pull them and take them upstairs for our new filming spot. Yes. Let's go do that. All right, here we are. Ta-da. Ta-da. This is it. We filmed once. It's the second try here. Second try. Be good. So, did you put your did you put your guys back on yeah, your show? Yeah, put my little transformers from the mystery unopening unboxing yes, or whatever. Yes, unboxing. They're here somewhere. We got some random things now. None of this stuff, other than books and DVDs behind us. Uh, Corey said, make sure you list it, and none of it's listed <laughs> except for the books and DVDs. But that's the and, main purpose. And I'm not of these. gonna list my my mows. No, Moe's... He's now for sale, because I love Moe's. Yeah, Moe's is not getting listed. And then Dakin's game. 
we still need to list that too. Um, is up here, and we have several copies of that. So yeah, we're gonna list that at some point. We to. have never sh showed it for a while. This is our son's game. He and his friends made this game. Matt and Brad and Dickon. Cross like like went through the whole process of Coming creating up, this yeah. game. Developing, yeah. do manufacturing, all that stuff. And it's called High Noon Showdown. And it's a fast action card game. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to put that on the eBay. Hey, I wanted to say a little bit, a little thing here about Happy Heart Treasures and our um, little mission or motto that we're rehomers of stuff. Yeah. And um, just kind of share how that really happened. And, and the garage sale made it more clear how it happened. Um, for example, we had lots of people come to our garage sale. And in the beginning, you know, we do the everything's a dollar. And then as we progress throughout the day and the, and the choices get thinner, um, we say two for a dollar. And then at the end, we do everything's free. So, um, you know we just leave it set out and we have conversations with people as they come and it's really interesting to find out where some of this stuff goes so instead of our motto being let's get what we can let's sell it for highest dollar you know and that kind of thing we truly are rehomers of stuff and that includes all kinds of things and a couple examples are um, we had lots of really nice name brand high dollar suits out for the garage sale and a lady came through and she said the pastor at her church and the men at the church would so enjoy having these suits, especially the suit jackets. And this was during the time that everything was free. So she was just tickled pink to get those for her congregation and the, and the pastor there. So that was another way that we can help rehome things and get them into the hands of people that really enjoy them. You know, we could have sold them online and gotten some really good money for them, but we got them for free, and so we rehomed them to somebody else. Another example is we had some beautiful lamps, and we put them out, and the two ladies that got those lamps were so excited to get them to put in their house. They couldn't believe they were, what, a dollar. Yeah, one of them was was an apartment. Everybody is, seems to be downsizing. Like, everybody's downsizing, and that's when they have to get rid of stuff. She was in an apartment and recently just moved into a house. So now she has a house that's empty and wants to put things in it and get things for it. And so coming to our garage, so, like, she bought a whole bunch of stuff, and she was ecstatic that she was able to find these cool things for only a dollar. So. Mm -hmm. And to put in her house. Another thing, you know, when we did sell the furniture from the last cleanout we did, we didn't get very much for it. We, I think we got, what, six bucks for table and chairs and, and things like that. But the people that got the table and chairs were so excited because the guy was setting up a house for his son and they loved the orange chairs. And so he got a brand new table, brand new to him, table and chair set for his son for not very much money. And then the couch that we just sold, some of you have probably seen that online. We tried several different times to sell it, but it wasn't until the last time around, it was going to be its last chance. And a lady was so lucky to see it, she said, because it perfectly matched the chairs that she'd recently picked up. So she was ecstatic to get that couch for $3. So, you know, instead of holding out for top dollar for things, yeah. I feel like, you know, that's what we were put here to do. That's why we wanted to start the business is so we could, you know, have an impact on, you know, our community a little bit right, more, right. as well as... Um, Obviously, we find stuff and sell things ourselves. on eBay, especially you try to get close to top dollar because we have bills to pay and all right, that. Right. But it is fun to to sell things for much, much cheaper than anybody can find, it, even in thrift stores and stuff. On the dollar auction, yeah. sometimes we sell things for quite a bit under what anybody could ever find it for and we enjoy that and people really like that so. and one of the neat things we get to do too is we get to visit with people and share in their life experiences as they come through here and i for example my dad had a stroke several years nine years before he passed and mom was his caregiver and um i had hung on to the step that we used to get dad in and out of the pickup and this year 
at the garage sale. I put it out and it sparked a conversation and it went to a family and she had come to the sale. She had just had a stroke not too long ago and she could use that step. And so in con conversation with her about that, we learned that, you know, and we were able to share some of the tools that we used for dad, like the car handle to get in and out of the car that made it easier and things like that. And so, you know, it's just neat to be able to talk to people and share our life experiences and listen to them share theirs. Um, plus, we had some really fun time with family and friends yep. um, having this garage sale. So yeah, it was overall a huge success. We're so when we say we're rehomers of stuff, we're not getting yeah, rich. Reseller, quick. reseller has a kind of a <laughs> negative connotation with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like some people think you're taking advantage of people and trying whatever. And that literally, Walmart is a reseller. Um, Walgreens Goodwill. is a reseller. Any Goodwill is a Goodwill gets all of their stuff for free. Um, and they resell and they for re high dollars. Like, but every store, unless you go to the farmer and buy the crops, every grocery store is a reseller. So we're we're just on a much smaller scale. But for some reason, some people have this negative connotation. That's why Donna likes rehomer of stuff because we're not just selling. We're not throwing things away. We're selling it to people that actually want it and are or happy to get it. it. So, or giving it away or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's that's why she's big on the rehomer of stuff instead of reselling. And I just kind of wanted to explain that a little more because yeah. yep. people say, what do you do? We're rehomers of stuff. <laughs> right. So anyway, carry right. on. What's next? All right, let's get into the what solds. <laughs> we had some great sales. We had some great sales over the weekend while we were doing the garage sale. And I have 16 or 18. I don't know why I can't keep it straight, but I think it's 16 <laughs> things to show you a handful. from all sorts of different places. Yes. And we're going to start with the most exciting thing. <laughs> Not really. It's, it's a shirt. It's a, it's a shirt, but it's sold for $14.99. Yeah. Okay. And so that's gone. Uh, Bruce Willis, RIP. Die Hard, 20, uh, 25th, 25th Anniversary Collector Edition. This comes from the buyout, and this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Nice. Brand new sealed. Uh, what is this, Donna? This is a vintage travel size. Does that look like a travel size to you? But it's a travel size um, washboard. A washboard, but it was for when I looked it up. It said it's great for um, hosiery and things like that. But it has the stamp on the back, and it's all for. You didn't want to keep that for your hosiery. No. Nope. All right, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> over nineteen ninety nine. I probably haven't seen Donna in pantyhose for 20 years. <laughs> I don't know if that's TMI or what, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> we don't dress up to go places. We wear jeans and shirts. That's right. This was from the $250 buyout a couple months ago. This is a special collection holiday presents Barbie Mattel set from 1998. And this sold for $57.19. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's cool. It's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> this is a Briar, <laughs> Briar traditional family Arabian cult uh, Palomino, Palomino horse. Palomino horse. And that sold for $15. And then we got a, it's springtime. So everybody wants to learn how to play golf better. So this is a new unopened. New unopened. Can can they see it because of the glare? I can't see. Well, if you keep turning it, then the glare will go away sometimes. Um, it'll master class, champions master class, Andrew Rice and Martin Chuck five DVD set to teach you how to play golf better yes. for eleven ninety nine. I will not watch it because where's from? That is from uh, Uncle Jim. I'm selling that for Uncle Jim. Oh. Um, I don't have any plans to get like much better in golf. So because you're so good. No, no, because I'm not. <laughs> and I don't think that's going to change. What else you got, Donna? I have a book. We have a few books, huh? Yep. This one is which one? This is As I Lay Dying. This is one of those folio collections. This is William Faulkner uh, from Fol Folio Society. As I Lay Dying with Slipcover, and this sold for $42. What's it about? Any idea? Either a catfish or dying. I don't know. Because um, that's catfish. Maybe as a I fisherman. Lay dying. 
I don't know. Maybe we should read it before we ship it. Yeah, it's okay. Probably not. All right. Well, so let's do the books. What other books we got here? I don't know how to say this. Here's another Folio Society. The Persian Expedition. The Persian Expedition and then Xenophon. Xenophon? X-E-N-O-P-H-O-N. This is from Folio Society as well. And this one sold for $42. And is it, that the same as this one sold? It has a 42 cover. $42 and 42 Yeah, both of them for $42. With a slip cover. Yes. And then we have a not so... Not so uppity book. This is Dracula. Stoker's Dracula. Uh, from 2005, it sold for $17.50. And all of them came as part of that buyout we just did recently. And then what do we got? Oh, this came from it too. Here's a Archie DVD series collection, whatever, from Archie Cartoons. And this sold for $27. Plus shipping. So that's cool. And that's not new. That's used. So. All right. What's next, Donna? I don't know. <laughs> um, Dr. Scholl's Dia Diabetes and Circulatory Comfort Crew. A new package of socks. Everybody needs socks, right? I think these are, like, support kind of. That could be. I'm not sure, but yeah. Well, they are going to support us paying our bills because this sold for $16.99. All right. Next up, we have uh, International Sale. This one is going leaving the country. Yep, that one right there. And it sold for $49.99. And it comes with the cable, it comes with the booklet, and it's a Bose uh, speaker. And it sold for $49.99. Okay. Oh, I'll put it back over Yeah. Another international sale, something else that's leaving the country. All right, this is a Thomas Kincaid picture. And this is the matted collector's print, the Forest Chapel. And it comes with, what is this called? Certificate of Authenticity. Certificate of Authenticity. And that yeah. is going international also for $35. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. Plus international shipping. Yes. Which actually, breakable things like that that go international, it's actually better for us because everything international goes to Illinois, which is not far from us, so it costs less and it doesn't have to travel as far safely because once they get it at international hub or whatever, they, I think they repackage it. I'm not sure if they repackage it, but once it gets there and it ships overseas, we're in the clear. Once they receive it and it's not broken, we're in the clear. So if it breaks on the way to the place, then eBay covers it. We're protected after it leaves the country. I like that setup. Yes. Next up. Next up. Everybody's got to do some sewing. There's quite a few. So 13 packs of Singer Premium Needles and... For a sewing with, machine. Uh, F-A-B-O. Yeah. So was it? F-A-B-O. Something buyout. Starts with an F. Do you remember it? F-A. F-A. Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah. it, came, it came from a buyout. We're not sure which one, but $17.99 and plus shipping those sold for <laughs> I did. I named it the Fabulous Buyout, so it was the FABO. I can't remember where, though. But it's going away. Uh, a couple more things here. This is... Let's get it right side up. This it's is... a little needle craft. Um, I would say embroidery tapestry kind of thing that is complete but it just needs to be framed yeah and it sold for fifteen dollars and sixty three cents that's an easy ship but this next have, thing is we have, not we have one more thing sometimes i wonder why donna does this with me because sometimes i don't think she actually likes me i do this is one of those times i do like him <laughs> all right put it in the comments below if you watch this video would you pick this up? Would you list it for good money? And would you ship it? Because I know from so, a clean out, I'm some sure. people would sh would do this. Some people would look at it and go, nope, not me. So it's not horrible, but it's, uh, you know, it's just large and pretty breakable. What do you think? <laughs> it's a princess house cake cover. Yeah. Cake platter, cake decoration but you can ship glass. it 
pack it good and ship it like this. Oh yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it there safely. Like this. And they paid a lot to ship it. They paid like fifty bucks to ship it. I think it's <laughs> just going to Missouri, honestly. Like this, you can't, but, can't get them anymore. Yeah. Um, so, so anyway, that sold for $75 plus shipping, which was like $50 shipping. So would you sell this and ship it for $75 or would you pass? Put your hand up here. You don't trust me? Sometimes it's hard to believe that I do the shipping. <laughs> Voila! See the cake? All right. Symbols? No. <laughs> All right. So that's the biggest thing I have to ship. I'm just trying to make her nervous. All right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she appreciates my sense of humor. Oh, honey. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So thanks for watching. Yeah, yesterday we did a lot of relaxing. I made the video, but then it was just kind of visit with Donna's mom and we just relaxed and we're super, super tired. Actually last night went to bed at a decent time. 9.30 at night, which was crazy for us. Okay. I went to bed at 9 30 and i'm like donna wake up let's go to bed and she's like nope she stayed on the couch it wasn't that she wasn't sleeping it's just that she didn't go to bed <laughs> and then i woke up and went to bed at one and stayed up and talked to my friend ruth online until 2 30 and <laughs> yeah yeah so we're a little out of whack but it wore us out a lot but now we can kind of have a fresh start with things and get going yeah we can get after it so all right um i'm thinking Doing one live. I thought I smelled smoke. Sometimes <laughs> 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 I do think she hates me. You taught me that joke. Oh, that's probably true. <laughs> I'm thinking doing a live next week. Ooh. Like next Tuesday or Thursday. I know there's like resellers that have lives. There's like somebody doing live every night. And but we get to talk to the people and they talk to well, us. Whatever. Just, yeah, doing a question and answer. Just a QA. and a Yes. I don't think we'll go live regularly but i think it would be fun to try it once so we're thinking next week tuesday or thursday of doing that so stay tuned yeah but other than that i gotta ship these cake platter thing and stuff anything else donna i think that's it that's probably enough you probably heard our voices enough so yeah i think i need to ship all this stuff and we need to and i'm gonna go take some pictures yeah in your newly cleaned and organized garage so. i've been waiting to have it empty <laughs> yes it's been a long wait okay. all right let's get out of here i'm steve i'm donna we're happy our treasures we'll see you on the next one bye